What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another FIFA 20 video. Today guys, I have got two pieces of key information for you that I'm getting asked a lot about right now. One of them is just an age old, uh, not glitch, but workaround or whatever. It's been in the game for years. I make a video on it every year. People complain it's going to get patched every year and it never does. And that is the chemistry glitch so that you can get loyalty or the loyalty glitch so that you can get loyalty on your players um as quick as possible basically so how does it work and what are we doing so we're on playstation but the, the method works basically the same on xbox as well and i've built this team here uh to get loyalty on this team because it's going to be going in for an sbc one of the sbcs that requires loyalty um and that is league and nation hybrids puzzle master so for this sbc you need 85 chemistry with an 82 rated squad. I've got my 82 rated squad. I've done my nations, my leagues, my players from one club as a maximum three, the rating and the 11 players. However, some of my players aren't loyal. And the way you can tell if they're loyal or not loyal, loyal players have the green badge, non-loyal players don't. And to get that bonus chemistry point for having them loyal, they have to have played 10 games. And so as you can see here, Jimenez would be one extra chemistry. Lulic would make two. Johnny would make three. Dendonka would make four. PZ would make five. Uh, Jardel would make six and Corluca would make seven bonus chemistry points, which would put me up to 85 chemistry, which of course is exactly what I need to get myself uh, the, the SBC complete. So how does the loyalty glitch work? Well, it does take some time. You can do it a bit quicker if you don't care about adding losses to your record. Me personally, I do kind of like my record to be uh, nice. So I, I use the, uh, the ability to um, not get losses on the record. What you want to do is you want to go into squad battles and you want to go to the Virgil van Dijk's like Liverpool uh, team or you can use team of the week, but it's grayed out at the moment. You can see how it's grayed out there and you just want to go in and play a game. So you just go in. It doesn't matter what difficulty, but put it on beginner because basically after you play a game or against Virgil van Dijk's team, you can play again uh, and again and again and again to try and better your score. And this is where we're going to be able to comprehensively do the, the glitch. So once you go into the game, you go as normal. I'm going to show you exactly everything. I'm not going to cut anything for this section for the first time because I want you guys to see exactly what's going on. And I'm going to show you uh, secondarily what happens. So we come up against the squad here. No problem at all. Jurgen Klopp in uh, in the manager spot there and quite a nice team. Van Dijk, De Ligt, among others, that 99 rated Van Dijk card, which is obviously very, very nice. And we go through a little bit further. We skip through this. Kickoff is important. Once it kicks off, pause the game. It has to kick off. If you do it before the, either you or the opponent kicks off, it won't work. You then want to press your PS button in, go over to your settings, go down to network, unconnect, reconnect to the internet, double tap your PS button, you've lost connection to the servers. So I had eight losses before that happened. You then leave ultimate team. Now this is where it gets a little bit long. You have to go back into ultimate team. And uh, if I'd have just backed out of the game, it would have done the same job. But by doing what I just did there, unless they patch this in the last like hour or so, I won't have an extra loss on my record, but I will have a game on the players, um, which obviously is exactly what we're aiming for. This is why it takes a little bit longer to do it like this though, is because you have to load back into Ultimate Team. So you can see my record is still 55, two and eight. And when we go into the squad now, I'll show you guys and I'll show you again without changing anywhere or going around with anything. He now has one game played. Right, so I'm not going to cut anything out of the video. I'm not going to edit anything or anything so that you can see there's, I'm, I'm doing exactly the same thing that you guys will be able to do. You go back to Virgil van Dijk. He says, replaying this would replace your current score, whether it's higher or lower. Well, it doesn't matter because we already have zero points on that. So you go in again. You do the same thing again. You load into the game. And again, just for this second game, because I want to show you guys that it will now be two games. Because otherwise, like in previous videos, people are like, oh, you obviously just went and played the games this doesn't work for me, blah, blah, blah. It, this works all the time, 100% of the time, unless EA patch it. But as I said, over the last four or maybe even five years that I've made this video specifically for every year, they haven't patched it. They haven't changed it. They haven't done anything. So again, you wait for the kickoff. You pause the game. You double tap your PS button to get straight back to the network section. Or if you've not done it, you have to go all the way through the menu. So go up to settings, go to network uncheck it check it double tap your ps button again you've lost your connection to the servers will once again be 55 2 and 8 and now raul jimenez and the other players in my team will have two games played instead of one 
You do that 10 times, you get the loyalty on your players, you get the bonus chemistry. So before we move on to the next section of the video, which is going to be talking about the fitness glitch and showing that it works offline, online and how it works, uh, I'm going to go and complete the uh, SBC here for myself because I want to do it. But for you guys, you're not going to see that. I just wanted to show you guys right there. Uh, so we'll go into the squad again here. And now uh, Raul Jimenez, boom, has two games. So you do that 10 times, you get loyalty on your players. It's a problem solved. So I'm going to go and do it. And then I'm going to show you that it's done just so that you can see uh, the impact that it made in the SBC. We'll open the pack as well. Maybe we'll get something nice. So I will be right back. All right, guys, and we are now back. You can see my record is still 55, 2 and 8. And now we have got a fully loyal team. Jimenez with 10 games played. We get to now turn this team in. We get all the chemistry available to us. We get a rare mega pack. Uh, loyal Johnny, loyal Ito, loyal Dendonka. Oh, it tells you what team they're in as well. That's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, we get a rare mega pack for our troubles. I have not had a walkout yet on this account. And I've done all the SBCs other than the final League of Nation hybrid. So hopefully we get a walkout. Oh, it is a board at least. It is a walkout. Let's go, man. Who is it? German. Centre is Cruz. Hey, 90 rated Tony Cruz. There we go. Oh, he's 88 rated now. Rip. That's hot. Um, but that's nice. My first walkout. Very nice indeed. Uh, hopefully he sells for a lot because I need some coins and I need to upgrade my squad. But we get ourselves our very first walkout. Oh my God. And Marcus Rashford, who's coming in at about 70,000 coins. What a pack that is. That is my best pack on this account by a long way. Uh, Red List OP. We also get Paulson, Forsberg, uh, Denea in there. Saar, who's decent. Uh, I actually had him. Yeah, he's, he's selling for like 4K right now. Um, I'm going to list him straight up. Uh, but that's not what this video today is about. I'll go and deal with this stuff um, in just a, right now, basically. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So I just want to show you the, the next squad here um, and, and why... I'm like what the fitness glitch is basically because some people seem a little bit confused with it um so let me just fill my team back up again um I changed my squad around for the sake of uh, doing some seasonal objectives which is always nice I, I'm a big fan of the seasonal objectives let me just quickly put a uh, contract on Malin there I do like the new uh recommended consumable system by the way it does save a bit of time so this is my team and I want to show you guys that this works both online and offline right so if we have a look here I have no stamina on my a lot of my players. My left back, 55. My left centre mid, 53. 58 for uh, Lucas Torreira. And what we're going to do... Let me just go and get my Kai Havertz because he needs to be on my bench. Um, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into a rivals game. And what I want to do is, as I say, I want to show you guys what it looks like when it's in-game versus not. And, and how some people think... And may maybe they're right, and I'm just not really getting the, the right end of the straw. But how some people think that... Um, the, let me just show you guys again here for the fitness. So Pookie, 79. The two centre mids on 58, 68, and 55, and 59 for my fullbacks. And I want to show you what it looks like in-game and how what it looks like at the end of the game. Because I think that's also as important. So we're going to go into the game here. Uh, hopefully I don't get some jacked up squad. I'm only in Division 5, I believe. So uh, here's hoping, fingers crossed, that we get someone brand new to the game uh, with a pretty deadbeat team. Uh, but I'm, 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 however I play, whether I win or lose, hopefully this guy can uh, hurry up and ready up. Yeah, however I play, win or lose, the purpose here is to show you guys what the stamina looks like at the start of the game and then at the end of the game. Because based on how my team is, let's see what this guy's team is. Yes, Jackpot City. Uh, based on how my team is, specifically my left back and my right back, Tellez and Aurier, should be dead by the end of the game. No question about it. They're coming in with 50-some-odd uh, fitness. They should be dead. Uh, when we get into the game here, uh, let me just go back into, into my... Uh, let me get into my... Um, I could pause it right now, but I need to get into my tactics. Destructor Joe. Come on, Destructor Joe. Here we go. So when I pause it, what you'll notice is one of two things, right? Number one, everybody has full fitness here. However, this is why I know that there's a fitness glitch because some people say, oh, it's always like that. And then it just drains quicker in the game. But when you look at the bench, look at players that don't have full fitness from the bench. Malin, Costa and Havertz, they don't have full fitness. So when I bring them on, they don't have the full bar. 
So that in itself should be an indication enough that fitness is glitched online. You don't need to apply fitness cards right now. I'm going to go ahead and play the game and I'll see you guys at the end of the game. Um, yeah, to show you how the fitness is. All right, guys, just a little bit of uh, info here at halftime. I am 2-1 down. This guy hasn't got the best team, but he is a brilliant player. Um, I've just gone into constant pressure, which is obviously going to make an impact to the fitness at the end of the game. Uh, but I just want to show you again here, like Pookie is going to show up right now. Um, and he's not going to... There you go. So he's still got like most of his uh, fitness. And I'm going to switch into Telez. Look at Telez. His bar is almost full still. Um, so I just want to let you guys know that regardless of uh, where we're at with, with fitness when it starts, it is absolutely not... Um, Come on, get a goal. Ooh, it's absolutely not taken, uh, taken into consideration in the game. So uh, I'll see you guys at the end of the game. All right, guys. So we're into the 90th minute. I've just tied it up to 3-3. Now you can see that some of my players are a little low on stamina. Havertz is a little down. Malin's a little down. Pookie's a little down. That is, as I said before, because I've been on constant pressure since half time. Um, but I think it's fair to, to say and, and to assess that Aurea and Tellez are nowhere near the level they should be considering the stamina they started with. Of course, I showed you at the start of the second half, uh, they still had pretty full stamina. Um, so there's the issue. I'm going to go now and show you guys how it works in squad battles as well, or, or that it works in squad battles. So I will be right back. All right, guys. And so here we go. Squad battles. Uh, we're going to go again and <laughs> play against this Virgil van Dijk team because I'm not going to play this whole game out. I just want to show you guys again. Um, we're now down into the 52 and 56 mark. Uh, it said Torreira started at 55. He must have good stamina. Yeah, 86 stamina. Because in that game we just played, um, in the online game, he still had decent stamina considering he started at 57 or 58. He was on constant pressure the second half. Um, and, and it's just to show you again that even offline, so it works in rivals, it works in uh, squad battles. And it basically means that you don't need to buy fitness cards, right? Not yet. I highly, highly anticipate this will be patched because I don't think this is supposed to be in the game. It's not there by design. Uh, you know, otherwise, why would they still have fitness cards? So the idea is um, that to, to make hay while the sun shines in two fashions. Number one, um, don't spend money on fitness cards to use them because you don't need to. And I just want to pause it right here. There you go. Everybody is on full fitness, right? So number one, uh, you don't need to uh, spend money on fitness cards. Uh, and number two, it's a good time to invest in fitness cards because right now people don't need to use fitness cards, which means there's a whole bunch of supply and almost no demand, specifically if you start using this. And it should save you coins by not having to use this anyway. Um, and then when EA patch this and fitness goes back to normal, fitness cards, of course, will go up in value. You'll be able to turn a profit. I want to show you the one very, very, very interesting fact about this fitness glitch. In the game mode where fitness and at times chemistry is irrelevant, it does it properly. Uh, so if we go to play online here, now fortunately it doesn't use contracts or anything like that here, right? And let's say we go to uh, King of the Hill, right? By the way, I hate this game mode. I don't find it fun at all. Uh, once again, we go and have a look at our uh, players, low fitness on these players. And hilariously, in this game mode, the fitness is actually lower. It's as it should be in online and offline in regular Ultimate Team. It's like that in this uh, this game mode. So I'll show you. All I'm going to do is pause, show it, and then quit. I apologize to my opponent here. Um, for I couldn't even score an own goal because of the way the goal system works on this one. Uh, it's more just for the purpose of the video. So I'm going to pause it right here. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to show you'll see straight away anyway from like from kickoff. Uh, but when we pause it up, you can see. That's what it should look like regularly in rivals and in squad battles. And you, as, I mean, I can't show it any fairer than that. Everyone's on low fitness. Puki, Fernandez, Torreira, Aurea, and Telez, Madlo. Um, and uh, that's the fitness glitch. So what do you have to do? Nothing. Don't apply fitness cards. Don't worry about fitness online or offline. It's all as it shouldn't be, but in a good way for us right now. And that is going to signal the end of today's video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.